Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my BoxyCharm unboxing. One of my boxes arrived really early this month, but the other one arrived a couple of days ago. So I really wanted to wait to do both of them together. So, as always, I'm going to fill in the gaps that are what I don't have. Starting, I'm going to use the Pericom MD, the Pericom MD Vitamin C Ester Citrus Brightening Cleanser. This retails for $35. It has six ounces. I like the packaging of it. It has the seal and is a very gel-like consistency. Oh, it has that citrus smell that I really like. I have lathered my entire complexion with this and now I'm gonna take it all off with this LaRue's makeup remover or something like that. I don't remember the name of this pad, but I really like it. It's really gentle to the face. This is how my skin is looking so far. Yes, I have a little bit of redness. I have been rubbing my face. Now I'm gonna go for my second product in my premium box, which is the essence. This is the 111 Skin Antioxidant Energizing Essence. I really like essence. This is a lightweight, delivering fast acting antioxidant properties while enriching the skin. This retails for $100. Let's just repeat that. This retails for $100. And this only has 3.4 ounces. It says to use day and night after cleansing. Gently apply to the face, neck, using a pad. Usually I don't use a pad because the pad absorbs part of the product. I use my hands. It is a glass bottle. Just put a couple of drops in my hands. And then just, oh, I like the scent. And I just press it into my skin. For today's makeup look, I'm going to do things in a different manner. Usually I do my complexion and then I do my eyes. But today, since I have a this, this is the under eye volumizing collagen pads. I haven't applied anything to my under eye because I wanted to really give it a shot to this. This retails... Oh... This is the Fila Collagen Under Eye Pads. My bad. Why inject when you can object to dual tire under eyes with the powerful bounce of hydrogen, collagen, vitamin C, and witch hazel to plump lift, revitalize your look. Hell yeah. Okay, this retails for $30. It has 10 sets. Let's just... really nice grip to them so as I said because I have this on I'm not gonna do my base first I'm gonna do my eyes first now let's go to the products that I can use with this on I have two items from Tres Luce this is from my base box and also from my base box this pinky rose um, multi-use makeup sticks this one the eyeshadow palette it is named I'm, I'm, I am siempre divina set this retails for $25. Oh, I have a, oh, I have a glue. So we have lashes here. Yay. These are the lashes that come with the I Am Siempre Divina set. And I like how they took the care to really pack everything. And this is the eyeshadow. This is the palette. Let me just take this off. It has a mirror to one side and kind of a basic eyeshadow palette. My bad. It has four mattes, one's in the corner, and this two in the middle are kind of a glittery metallic something. Right. The brush set comes with... Oh, I like the color of the handle and the ferrule. Oh, this blue. It is exactly the same blue. And it is with a matte finish. Oh. Oh, I hope that this works. Mm, I have my doubts, but at least they are really, really nice to look at. Pinky Rose Cosmetics. This is a multi-use makeup base sticks. This retails for $20. I have the shade Jazz, and I have the shade um, Hip Hop. Jazz is kind of a pearly, metallic shade, 
that is jazz this one here a really coppery nice shade and hip-hop nice i think i'm gonna use this one as a base and um yeah let's see where we go from there and i'm going to rub this into my eyelid I'm gonna work first one and then the other one because it is the first time that I use these products and I don't know if by any chance they are, if they dry fast, if they give you time to work with them. I'm gonna use the Tres Luces B101, I think it is. It is working. I don't love it, but at least it's blending the shade the ones that I did in my hand they haven't set yet because I just rub the jazz one and see still I have time to work with it now I'm gonna go for the palette done still I, I want to do a couple of details more and I have to do my bottom part but I have a product that I can use as a let's just say a primer which it isn't but let's just use it like that this is the glow recipe watermelon glow nice on my dew drops this is a this highlighting skincare and makeup hybrid visibly brightens skin and delivers an effortless glow this retails for $34, and I thought it could be a good idea to use it as a base. Oh, nice packaging. It says to use, if I'm not mistaken, a couple of drops. I'm gonna use just like that. And I'm going to apply it all over my complexion. It really smelled like watermelon candy. Now I'm gonna put the rest of my complexion stuff and then we're gonna come back. Now it is time for my last three products. Firstly, with the LYS Beauty. This is the bronzer. I wanted to have the, the next shade. I got, if I'm not mistaken, the light one and I wanted the medium one. But when I open it, I think it is it's going to work for me. This retails for $18. Supposedly this has kind of a velvety texture. It has a lot of buzz couple of months ago because of how wonderful it was the, the the brand and also the packaging so this has green tea extract sodium hyaluronate <clears throat> and niacinamide so yeah that's why almost everybody loves this this is the actual shade that's why now I'm happy I think that I got this one instead of the other one because if not, I think that the other one would be too, too dark. Let's just see. I'm just pressing my brush into the bronzer. Since it is a matte one, it has a little bit of kick up in the pan. And now I'm going to apply it 
a little bit higher than the hollows of my cheeks. I work my bronzer, my blush, everything towards my temples. I just don't leave it just in the area of my cheek. I don't like it. A little bit on the side of my nose and in my chin and jaw area. Now we will have a comparison of how my um, right side looks versus the left side. I like it. And it blended really, really easily and nice. There. Mm, I like it. Really, really nice application. And I don't know if it is, has a scent. No, it smells like cosmetics now i'm gonna go for the benefit product which is the georgia golden peach blush i don't mind a peach blush that's one of my favorite shades also the mauve shades so this retails for 30 dollars it has a little bit of a almost i think almost all the blushes from benefit has a sheen to them so that is the shade and um, <laughs> since I want a kind of a soft application I'm gonna use this dual fiber this is a Luxy dual fiber powder brush this is the 516 I'm coating the bristles and just with the tips of the brush I'm working it towards my temple as always And last but not least, I'm gonna go to uh, the Plumping Lip Gloss from Tarte. This is really pink. Let's see. Now for the Plumping Gloss. Oh man. This is too pink. Sweet, this is it. This is my entire look with everything that I got in both of my boxes. Let's just recap of what I what I got and what I use and what I didn't use. First, we we'll start with the Pericon MD cleanser. I really like this. I enjoy it a lot. The consistency it was more like a gel-like um, cleanser, which I enjoy. Also, the scent of it really, really, really nice. It is a cleanser. I have to keep on using it in order to see if I get any benefit from it. But so far, just the first try, I like it. The other one, it is 111 skin or 111 skin or 111. I don't know how it is, um, which is the proper name for it. But I like Essence and this isn't the exception of it. Also, this is skincare. I really need to use it for a long period of time in order to know if it works or it doesn't work but this is a really luxury brand this retails for $100 but yeah I like it and the packaging it is fancy it was glass so yeah from there we went for the pads I really like them I enjoy that they have a good adhesive I wasn't struggling with them while I was doing my eye makeup so yeah that it was a really really good and my under eye felt good Nothing earth shattering, but yeah, it felt good. It's always good to put some pads under your eye. From there, we went to the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops. I liked it. As I'm saying, this is a skincare thing, so I really need to keep on using it in order to yeah see any difference at all. But so far, I didn't use any primer in my complexion. And everything is looking the same way that it would if I have used any of the primers that I already know and own. From there, we jump to eyes. And these are products that I use in my eyes. The brushes, I didn't like them much. I love the handle and the ferro color. The presentation was really nice. But 
no i didn't no i didn't like the they are usable they are a regular brushes but i have some really nice regular brushes that in my opinion they perform a lot better than those the pinky rose um multi-use makeup sticks they were nice really nice i used them i used the light one as a base and it worked the shadow um, blend really easily on top of it and i used the metallic copper one on my bottom lashes and yeah it had not smudge it is looking good i apply the shadow on top of it and it blend really easily actually it i think it made it a lot more easier by having this under that if i didn't have anything the the eyeshadows were really good really really good they blend so easily they have color payoff but you can build them it's not that when you like put your brush into the pan and when you apply it to your lid you're gonna have that chunk of a color there and no they are nice and you can slow build them and you will be fine the only shade that i would say that you have to be careful it was the black one because it was a really nice pigmented black shade and that one I use a angle brush to do kind of a liner thing that I have and then I use another one to smudge it in and blend it into the eye thing that I did and it was really nice, really easy to do, but yeah, the black one really surprised me. And then we jumped for the last three products that I have for makeup. We started with the LYS Beauty and this is the bronzer I like how easy it was to apply the shade it was it worked really really nice for myself also the benefit georgia is just a really soft nice peachy shade that you will look so girly and so fresh and so nice without any effort that in if i'm going to be honest i could put this in my entire complexion and i will be fine with it but it's this really soft peachy tone that I have in my cheeks. I skip highlighter because it has some shimmer. Well, it has some sheen into it, not shimmers, just a really nice glow to the skin. And last but not least, the Tarte? Yeah, the Tarte Man Eater um, Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Buff. I'm not into pink shades, but I know that this is a shade that everybody loves. It has a little bit of, um, it is more kind of a minty sensation to the lips. It is nice. It is an overwhelming. I'm not, yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. It is thick, but it doesn't, it isn't a thickness that you will get uncomfortable with it. Yeah, I like the product, the shade. I would rather have another one than this. But yeah, so it's, this is everything. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I really appreciate it. And if you want to get notified every time I upload a video, press the notifications bell, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.